CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 131 through 135 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 131 a network administrator needs to expand the IP address pool by adding at least 250 usable IP addresses. The network is currently using a forward slash 24 subnet. Which of the following subnet masks would meet this requirement? The answer is A. Forward slash 23. The forward slash 24 subnet provides 256 total addresses with 254 usable addresses after reserving one for the network ID and one for the broadcast address. To add 250 more usable addresses, a larger subnet is required. A forward slash 23 subnet provides 512 total addresses, with 510 of those addresses being usable, which is sufficient to accommodate the additional 250 IP addresses needed for this scenario. Question 132. Which of the following enables multiple internal devices to share a single public IP address for outbound internet traffic? The answer is B. NAT. NAT or Network Address Translation allows multiple devices within a private network to share a single public IP address when accessing external resources. A common implementation of NAT is Port Address Translation, or PAT, which maps multiple private IP addresses to a single public IP by assigning unique port numbers to each connection. This ensures that return traffic is properly routed to the correct internal device while conserving public IPv4 addresses. Question 133. Which troubleshooting step involves gathering system logs, reviewing recent changes, and identifying symptoms to determine the issue? The answer is A. Identify the problem. The identify the problem stage is the first step in the troubleshooting methodology. It includes gathering information such as system logs, questioning users about the issue, and identifying symptoms. Additionally, it involves determining if any recent changes were made that could have caused the issue, attempting to duplicate the problem, and addressing multiple issues separately if needed. Proper identification ensures that the root cause is understood before you move forward with troubleshooting and resolution. Question 134. Which VPN configuration allows internet-bound traffic to bypass the VPN while still securing corporate traffic? The answer is C. Split tunnel. Split tunneling allows VPN users to send corporate traffic through the encrypted VPN tunnel while routing internet-bound traffic directly to the internet. This reduces bandwidth usage on the VPN, improves performance for general web browsing, and prevents unnecessary congestion on corporate network resources. However, it also introduces security risks as internet traffic bypasses corporate security controls, making devices more vulnerable to threats like malware, phishing, and man-in-the-middle attacks. Question 135. Which default port is used to establish a secure connection to an LDAP directory service? The answer is D, 636. Port 636 is the default port for LDAP-S or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol Secure, which encrypts LDAP communications using SSL TLS. Unlike port 389, which is used for standard LDAP and transmits data in plain text, LDAP-S ensures secure authentication and data exchange, protecting against eavesdropping and man-in-the-middle attacks. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.